I made this clip to show you how a compass behaves under normal conditions. By normal conditions, I mean without any electromagnetic interference, which can and does happen, such as at the infamous Bermuda Triangle, which is why GPS was created, which is a grid positioning system designed to aid safe navigation. Now take a look at this flight to where these people assumed they were flying towards eastern Russia from Alaska. Upon arrival they were trapped to very hostile and suspicious conditions and were even threatened with suggestions like you will go missing. Look at their compass on the aircraft's dashboard while it was sat on the runway. Do you see a problem here? As you can see they did not land in eastern Russia but they definitely landed somewhere west of Alaska. The map and grid you see on screen are the map and model we work with. We have come to find the international date lines are fake, hiding where the luminaries come from and go to, and anything else beyond. They are a mental block the edge of the globe. The Arctic and Antarctic restrictions are not the only locations hiding more secrets. No shipping or aircraft cross the international date lines. The data is being flipped to appear to be. They are really using routes in the north over Greenland to cross the map, and the same must be happening in the south. GPS your flight and compare it to the flipped data recordings found on Flight Radar 24. World War II was all about taking control of the perimeters, and it has never stopped. In 1947, a US fleet sailed to Antarctica in search of Nazi war criminals. A year later, the US built the world's first nuclear power station. Admiral Byrd mentioned land south of the South Pole. He was not speaking of the globe. <laughs> 